as a request from a friend of mine, said it would be a good idea. I don't really know how it's going to turn out. I want to see how it can work. Um, well, here it goes. Uh, in his own words, I was hemmed up, and he said this would probably help. Right, he did a petition for my freedom and innocence, you know, uh, from something that I've been dealing with uh, since 1998. Um, well, you're going to have to excuse this. I've had these copies for a long time, and um, this is my original charge. Uh, sexual Assault Felony 2, State of Texas, that's my real name, look me up if you want, I don't really care no more. Um, the thing is, is, you gotta love this, sexual assault. Let's see, five years after my conviction and release, you know, all in one, they changed the title to Sexual Assault of a Child. In the state of Texas, there ain't any law. You cannot rechange the title of someone said off the someone that you're taking them right to court to give a different said title. That's to my understanding of the law I've read so far on that. So yeah, so there you go. My original charge. Uh, well, what there was what what I was hemmed up for. And this is why we're going to get into this video. So I know what you're thinking. Oh, he's just a child molester. Like, no, nah, I've got my I've got my homework. Actual paperwork, whatever you want to call it. Okay, right here on this page, it's a uh, conviction, probation order. Sorry, I can't hit something. Um, but here we go. Yeah. Okay, this is back when I was probably 18, 19 years old. The victim was 14. It almost fell in the Romeo and Juliet spectrum in any sense, but I'm still innocent. As you see, it says tattoo on my right wrist. This is my right wrist, so if I turned around and show everybody, this would be my right. I have a tattoo on my left wrist that I got after having a daughter back in 2003. Her name is Faith. Um, the thing is, is that's one one other flaw because I didn't have a tattoo. Don't have one. Um, and here we go down the charges. Um, let me go this way with it. Move my finger up. There we go. I had one charge each. As you see here, sexual assault and dangerous drugs. Okay. Um, I'm not going to lie. Um, yes, I was selling drugs when I was a teenager, but they didn't have enough evidence or anything for a long time wasted um, investigating me and watching me. So they were a little fed up, as you can see. And they wanted me up the streets one way or the other. So this is where my hemmed up situation lies. As you see here, this is the actual forensic report. Um, sorry, I'm, let, me, let me get to the print here. Here we go. This is your actual forensic report. It's all legitimate. Um, wrong side. Do you see there? Here's the girl. Uh, her name is kind of blocked out, but it's pretty easy to figure out what it is. Um, it says number of assailants one. One man committed the crime. Here we go. Let me move my fingers up. Um, here we go. Now let's get in closer so you can kind of see these. Was the assailant injured during the assault? You see that bottom question? It says no. Okay. Lubricant used by la la la. You know, you see what I'm getting at? Unknown, unknown, unknown. A lot of unknowns. But it says one assailant. And here we go. Sexual assault examination of forensic report, page three. Um. It's a girl, page three. As you read on this, uh, I'm trying to get it to where you might be able to pause it and read it. It says, yeah, I'm going to get it straight, sorry about that. It says they found black hair, well, black hair found in vaginal valve, uh, placed in one blue envelope. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, during the whole time I was uh, incarcerated in the local county jail, who was charged, and even after I was convicted, 
up until I got to TDC was the only time I had any DNA taken from me. Because they, uh, they automatically do that when they put you in the system, they, they take your DNA. Um, so, but the courts never obtained my DNA or anything and still convicted me of this crime when it shows the man with black hair commit, uh, convicted it. You know, he committed the crime. And as you see here on the, was a uh, assailant injured? There's a part where it's showing injury marks and they're saying she wasn't injured, but now they're trying to change it. And, I mean, it's pretty bad. Here's the, here's the actual man who committed the crime. He, this is his, uh, where he's pleading out and signing out to his courts. You know, la 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 la. On the, sorry about that, May 10th, uh, 1999. May of 99. 10th day of May 1999. And he took, he took, uh, deferred probation to begin with. Okay, for this crime, he admitted it because he was already being investigated for several um, prior people. As you see, if you look, let me show you a comparison. Let me find my case number somewhere on this. I, don't, I haven't seen this paperwork in a while, I have to keep it hidden. But as you see here, he is agreeing to he actually. Signed with his thumb waiver, all notarized in the district court. It's the judgment, a fingerprint. Uh, the court is simultaneously to the conviction of the defendant in both style of case. So, you know, it's just saying that he's agreeing to the conviction of the 10 years probation for raping this girl, but they didn't do anything about the other two girls he raped. Um, I found one in her bathtub, in my bathtub, in my, uh, the get was the tub, like almost drowning, and we got her friends, and they pulled her out and got her dressed, and she was almost, uh, uh, vomiting, you know, like, choking on her own vomit, so I had to help save her life, and then she went to file charges, and they didn't arrest him, the and they allowed him to rape yet another girl, so, I'm just trying to see if there's anybody out there with a heart and common decency because yes, there are some people with bad records like this, and I'm not gonna lie. But me not shouldn't even having this on here and be treated like something lower than scum. For since I've had it on my record, it doesn't uh, help my life any. When I'm an innocent man. Do appreciate anybody's time and I don't care what kind of comments you leave. I'm just trying to get heard and helped because this has screwed up my life and it limits me to do what my potential is capable of in being in society. And if you pull up my jail records you won't see but that was the only thing I usually drugs or alcohol on my record. So you can go ahead and pull that up. I mean, I'm, I didn't, I'm not that type of person. I'm married. I have a 12 year old a daughter that's almost 12. And, you know, it's the yeah, eyes, you know, enough is enough. So, so many people 